On the run to the first of 13 flights in the John Mulhern Galmoy hurdle, this great two over three miles and disputing the early running. Martello Tower in the center with on the inside the English challenger at Fisher's Cross. They rise together, tracked by Alfred Desabo. A bit of a break then to Briar Hill and Noble Emperor, his last of the quintet. Two circuits ahead of the five runners in today's main supporting race, and it's Martello Tower and Adrian Heskin, who now lead by under length going into the bend, followed by at Fisher's Cross and Barry Gerzy within third Alfred Days of Bow. Brighton Cooper, a little over three lengths then to Briar Hill, Ruby Walsh, and lastly, Noble Emperor, Mark Walsh. Turning to race up the back straight towards flights two, three, and four. Martello Tower in front, followed by at Fisher's Cross, a little over a length and a half back to Alfred Desobo, who's over five lengths in front of Briar Hill and Noble Emperor. Reaching the second flight, the first of three up the back, and it's Martello Tower, the leader, followed by at Fisher's Cross, less than two lengths away to the third running Alfred Desobo who's out in front of Briar Hill and Noble Emperor continues to be last of the five. Center flight up the back straight, number three this time. Little or no changes, Martello Tower the leader, followed by at Fisher's Cross, within third place, Halford Days of Bow, Briar Hill and Noble Emperor, the back marker in the quartered cap. At the third and final flight in the back straight, this flight the fourth, Martello Tower over in front, but only just to at Fisher's Cross on the inside of Alfred Days of Bo, who moves up between them. Then Briar Hill and Noble Emperor as they turn to come out of the back straight. They'll soon be at the end of the first mile. Martello Tower rejoined and headed on the inside by at Fisher's Cross with a closer third now, Alfred Days of Bo. Just over two lengths between the three, and then a break to Briar Hill and Noble Emperor. Flight number five before the straight, Martello Tower is back in front again. It leads now by just over a length to At Fisher's Cross and Alpha Days of Bow, in turn clear from Briar Hill, who's joined at the back by Noble Emperor. At flight number five, Martello Tower by two lengths to at Fisher's Cross on the inside of Alpha Days of Bow. Noble Emperor just goes a place ahead of Briar Hill, the back marker. So they come to approach the straight, and it's Martello Tower, Adrian Heskin in front of at Fisher's Cross, and Barry Gersey on board at Fisher's Cross, who's having his first start since the world hurdle. And then Alfred Days of Bow, Noble Emperor, and Briar Hill on the inside, like at Fisher's Cross. He too is making his reappearance. First flight in the straight, bringing them on now to the halfway stage. They've seven more left to jump in the Grade Two John Mulhern Galmoy Hurdle, and spread across the track. In the centre, it's Martello Tar in the yellow jacket. On the left, white cap at Fisher's Cross. Stand side, Alfred Days of Bow followed by Noble Emperor, who goes on from Briar Hill, racing up now to pass the enclosures, a circuit to go, and six flights left to jump. Martello Tower with Alpha Days of Bow now moving into second. At the expense of at Fisher's Cross, and then Noble Emperor and Briar Hill adrift at the back of the field now, and just getting a nudge along by Ruby Walsh. As they go into the bend now, just a little over 10 furlongs to go and six flights to jump. Still leading is Martello Tower from Alpha Days of Bow on the outside, followed by at Fisher's Cross, and then three lengths to Noble Emperor, who goes further away from Briar Hill, as they start now to race up the back straight to the first of three. Six left to jump. Martello Tower in front from Alpha Days of Bow and on the inside, very much with them at Fisher's Cross, and then Noble Emperor clear from Briar Hill as they clear that flight and head on now to the next, which is five from the finish and roughly a mile from home. Martello Tower and on the outside, Alpha Days of Bow, the pair at this next flight, followed by at Fisher's Cross and Noble Emperor. And now a sizable gap back to Briar Hill. 
about seven furlongs to go. They four left to jump. And it's Martello Tower and Alpha Dezo Bo keeping to the outside of the track. On the inside, more independently minded is at Fisher's Cross over this one. And Martello Tower clouded that flight. And Alpha Dezo Bo on the outside just landed with the advantage as they race up now to the top of the course and begin to make the turn towards the third last flight. Alpha Dezo Bo on the outside of Martello Tower who has recovered from that blunder. Then at Fisher's Cross on the inside and Noble Emperor has closed right onto their heels and these are still clear from Briar Hill with three left to jump and it is Martello Tower and Alpha Dezo Bo on the outside now racing along stride for stride followed by the two JP McManus runners Noble Emperor and at Fisher's Cross clear from Briar Hill. Now they come towards the third last flight. Alpha Dezo Bo on the outside of Martello Tower followed by Noble Emperor as that Fisher's Cross drops back and then comes Briar Hill. They've less than half a mile to go and a good run to the final two flights in the straight and it's Martello Tower and on the outside Alpha Dezo Bo going along now with in third place noble emperor briar hill is trying to come back at them on the outside of it fisher's cross who's beginning to labor on the inside so they straighten up for the final two flights alpha days on the near side of martello tower these two competed against one another at leopardstown at christmas they come now towards the second last alpha days lands with the advantage racing down towards the final flight now in the john mulhern galmoy hurdle and it's alpha days and brian cooper going on from martello Tower at Fisher's Cross is sticking doggedly to his task on the inside, but it's Alpha Days of both the leader over the last from at Fisher's Cross second, and then Martello Tower clear from Briar Hill and running up towards the finish. Alpha Days Bow is deservedly going to go one better after a sequence of seconds as Alpha Days of Bow and Brian Cooper win impressively the John Mulhern Galmoy hurdle for Trainer Mouse Morris, second at Fisher's Cross, and he's come back, then Martello Tower. Hill and Noble Emperor eased and a long last.